Welcome to One Up Five Down. This is Eric, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at my new toy hauler. Uh, today's video is sponsored by Below Zero. Uh, Zach at Below Zero does a lot of these custom uh, vinyls and graphics. He also does some custom acrylic pieces. But I'll put a link to his website and Instagram down below in the description. Okay, so we'll just start right here at the back. So it does have a, uh, it does come with a fuel station. So when you're at the track, which is mainly why I got this, is for at the track. Um, but yeah, you can gas up your vehicles. Now this will hold 40 gallons of fuel. And basically you turn it on, well you fill it up there, and then you turn it on here. And basically you just flip it on and then you're ready to pump gas. It has outdoor speakers and a motorized awning, canopy, whatever. And over here is just, we're not going to open this up, this is just storage. Basically for, we've got a table in there, and other RV trailer type stuff. And uh, plug in for, you can put the solar panels on there and basically it'll trickle charge your batteries. Uh, propane tanks. This is the generator. What is this guy? I think it's like a 4,000 watt generator. Yeah, 4,000 watt. So yeah, that'll power everything if we get to a place where they don't have power that we can hook up to. And it runs, it runs off the fuel in the fuel tank, uh, that 40 gallon fuel tank. Outdoor shower. There's a handle. It does have hot and cold water for the shower. Uh, it's got to hook up some some campsites you go to do have hookups for satellite or cable. That would be that, or unless you have an outside like satellite dish. Uh, this is your hot water heater and uh, your uh, I believe that's also for the refrigerator too. Um, and then this is for your black tank wash. And then right here it has a it has another hose on a coil cord. Basically, this is a quick connect. It just kind of pushes in there, and it's just like a, a garden hose essentially. And then just like this says, this is fresh water, and then your city water. And let's see. Oh, here's for plugging it in. So if you do get to a place where they have power, you can plug it. Because you can't get up on the roof. And then the back door here, it's a kind of a dual purpose. It's a ramp so you can bring the uh, motorcycles up, uh, but it also it uh, hangs like a back patio. So I'll bring it down. Check it out. So, yeah, so basically it sets up like this, and you can uh, sit out here uh, when you're getting, when you're chilling out the track. Uh, these cables essentially they'll attach to here and it holds this up. This has a 3,000 pound capacity, um, but it also acts doubles as a ramp for bringing your equipment up into the up into the trailer. So with that, let's go inside. Okay, so this unit sleeps six people. Obviously, this is a bed here, and then down here, these are two couches. I got one down, the other one, the other one up in the love seat configuration cup holders with cup holders um, and then you can see the tie downs here on the floor so you can get so when you bring your motorcycle or whatever you're bringing in you can tie your stuff and secure it down uh, it did come with this chair it's a recliner as well um, as a sink full-size sink well for, for RV full size does have a three burner stove with the cutting board backsplash exhaust fan microwave 
of it. And then the uh, the refrigerator and the freezer, they're you know they're actually they're pretty nice. It's it's a lot better than going to the track before and having to put everything in an ice chest and try to fit everything in there and then drag that along with you and dealing with that whole mess. So this will be a lot nicer to be able to put drinks and regular food in here and you know I can put some frozen pizzas or burritos in here and then cook them in the microwave as opposed to bring trail mix and beef jerky which what I was doing before. And then the doors also lock so that when you're traveling they don't accidentally swing open. Uh, it does have a place here for a TV. We haven't gotten a TV yet because there have been some other things that are on the priority list that we want to do first before sticking a TV in here. And besides, we're not really planning on watching a whole lot of TV when we're at the track. Uh, it does have a Bluetooth radio system. And then it has these speakers up here on the ceiling, over there, and then over here. And then again, I showed you the speakers that are outside. Um, and the speakers, to be honest, the speakers aren't really that good of a quality. So eventually I'll want to change these speakers out so they don't sound so tinny and maybe they got a little bass to them. Um, and then we've got some cabinets here, here, up over here. This is glass. Uh, up here. Over here above where the TV goes. Down below. Um, the other thing I really like about this unit are these drop, these fold down drop out stairs. So when you open this up, these stairs make connection with the ground as opposed to some of the other units we saw where the stairs kind of pull out from the bottom and then when you go up and down, they're kind of bouncy and you're like, nah. But uh, yeah, these are a lot, uh, these are a lot more sturdy. I like these. So let's go back and let's go check out the bedroom real quick. So this is where all the magic happens with me and the missus. Just kidding. So yeah, this is a, uh, I believe this is a queen size RV, RV queen is what it came with. Um, it has storage here on the sides, up above, uh, lights here. Uh, it does have the ability to put a TV up here. Um, and then it is vented for, for AC and then heat down below. And then the restroom, the bathroom, has a Jack and Jill entrance for the bathroom. And we'll have you come in through the other door. So this is the bathroom. Uh, this is your typical RV style toilet. Nothing magical there. But it does have a shower. It has a pretty decent shower. It's pretty nice. Um, so again, so say a long day at the track and you've been sweating in your leathers all day, it'll be pretty nice to get in here, wash off, and change clothes. Um, and then, you know, your medicine cabinet, which my wife has already put in some hand soap in there, of course, because she's kind of a germaphobe. And storage down here and uh, that's pretty much it so that's it for this video thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next one Thank you.